2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Genesis Invitational. Today's coverage is just about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be following this featured group as there are rumours of quite a rivalry kicking off between these two players. Well Henny, it sounds like this player's going for gold. They're trying to beat Xander Shoffley. I wouldn't want to try and beat an Olympian. A gold medal winning Olympian with hair as good as Xander Shoffley? And a swing as good as Xander Shoffley? No, no thank you. I'll leave this up to them. Yes, I'm just looking through his list of weaknesses and let me just list them off now. Yep, none. Good luck to you. Second shot here on the first. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up. Headed for the green. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. And the birdie with big wings on the table here if they can make this one. What's in front of them, Henny? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. Oh, so close. A par putter waits. He's in a tie for 14th place. We know that Riviera starts with a 5-4, but it may as well be a 4-5 because the par 4 second is tougher than the par 5 first. I've never seen a golf course where you're so happy to start off birdie bogey. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. The second hole, pretty straight away off the tee shot. The second shot moves a little bit from left to right back up the hill. There is some space on the right-hand side to miss your second shot up by the green, but there's no guarantees that it'll kick hard enough right to left to get back on the green. It's a sensational second hole. This one is right down the pipe. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here at the second. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And down she goes. Currently one under for the day. Pacific Palisades in California, the site of Riviera, the third hole, par four, elevated tee shot. A fairly generous fairway, a little bit more room out to the left than what players can see off the tee shot. Second shot is going to be downhill to a green that basically chases away from the player, going from the front portion of it all the way to the back. Difficult to get your second shot close here. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. Oh, five-footer. It's amazing how two pros hold these. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. And with that lovely play, they're now ahead of their rival. It's getting serious, isn't it? Currently two under for the event. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. So many wonderful holes at the George Thomas designed Riviera Country Club. This par three fourth has to be one of them. This is a spectacular par three. Ideally, players want to hit a tee shot that moves significantly from right to left and moving with the contour of the green. If they can do that, then they've got an opportunity to hit it really close. If they challenge the pin off the tee shot, well, it could come up short in that bunker, and that is a massive no-no.
Lovely effort, that. And this putt to move into second place. It's on a great line. That was a gallant attempt. This putt is for a share of second. That's well hold. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Which the PGA Tour is basically a power game these days, although the fifth here at Riviera forces players just to hold off off the tee. The fairway does run out about 310 yards off the tee, and players not necessarily going to hit driver here. They have to be mindful that the fairway pitches significantly from right to left on their tee shot. From there, they're hitting their second shots downhill again to a green that chases away from them front to back. Again, a simple looking second shot, but a difficult one to get close. Choosing the nine iron here. Going for less club here. Wow, they really put on a show with that approach shot and their rival Xander Shoffley appears to be taking notice as well. Butting for birdie. What a putt started this perfectly. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for birdie. Take some pride in that one. And with that, he'll move to three under par. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. The sixth hole at Riviera is one of the most famous par threes on the West Coast, Rich. An absolute beauty. It looks like a giant green donut with the bunker right in the center of the green, doesn't it? I love this hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. Just a little off with the accuracy there, unable to find the green. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Currently at minus three for the event. Let's head to the par four seventh at the Riv again. It's a par four that requires placement of the tee. The fairway bunker down the left-hand side comes in quicker than you can imagine. And so players want to try and hit it out towards the far right part of it. But again, you push it a little bit and now the Barranca comes into play. If you find the fairway, happy days. This green is probably one of the most severe tilted from back to front. Players need to make sure their second shots land past this hole in order for it to come back down towards the hole. You will have a downhill putt, but it's better than coming up short. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. This one's for birdie. Just didn't drop. And that should secure the par on this one. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. The par four eighth at Riviera is a choose your own adventure. Which fairway do you like to take? I think most players are going to try and go down the left hand side as it seems to be the easier of the two these days. However, where they stick that flag stick, well, that's a different question. If they stick it up front right, the left-hand side of the fairway, that's not the easiest approach. So better be mindful of where that flag stick is in order to pick which side of the fairway you want to drive it down. Well, Rich, here's one of our proven performers in the FedEx Cup points race. They've been there or thereabouts for most of the season, and they go into this tournament as one of the strong favourites. It hardly seems a surprise, doesn't it? It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favourites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. This putt coming up is for birdie. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to four under. 
no movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. The final hole on the outward half is a par four playing back up towards the clubhouse, Rich. It's a good par four. Only the big hitters are going to be able to carry that fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Most players are going to try and avoid it and even miss it, the fairway out to the right-hand side, which is not a bad miss. From there, the second shot is directly uphill. Deep, deep bunkers on the front right part of this. That is not the place to miss it. Anything that's a little bit long will leave you a downhill putt, but that's the safe play. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. That should find the surface. Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. What a lovely position for this player, Rich. Tied for the lead as they make the turn. Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Well, that's the perfect shape. Just controlling a fade. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Not far from the green here, just in the green side rough. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Judging it beautifully. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. The par 5 11th, one of the better scoring holes on the course. Players are thinking four when they stand on this tee. It's just a long straightaway par 5, almost a runway, if you like. Both sides of this fairway flanked by huge eucalyptus trees, which frames this tee shot brilliantly. You find the fairway, second shot, once again, straightforward. You must avoid that bunker front right at all costs. That is deep and nasty. You're not going to enjoy being in there. That's heading into the rough, I think. Getting ready to play their third. Currently tied for the lead. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. When you stand on the 12th tee, Rich, you're thinking to yourself, a couple of strong back-to-back -back par fours, and it starts right here. This is where the golf course gets extremely difficult, Luke. This tee shot moves from left to right, but massive overhanging eucalyptus trees down the right-hand side prevents you from hitting a high draw over them. Once you're in the fairway, though, your second shot is to a green that's really not as big as it should be for such a long hole. And there's a famous tree just short and left of this green, Bogey's tree. Not because of the score, because Humphrey Bogart used to sit there and just watch everybody butcher this hole. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. And they'll tap this in for birdie. Our current leader is up by three shots. Rich the 13th hole, slightly different look off the tee. It's really cool. This tee shot is framed by large eucalyptus trees, both right and left, requires a draw. Nothing else to do. You have to move this golf ball from right to left off this tee. If you do it correctly, well, that golf ball could chase down there miles down this fairway. If you find the fairway down there, you're going to love the second shot. The difficulty gets when the pin is all the way back left in this little peninsula. You miss it a little bit left there, you're going to find the barranca, and you're probably going to find a bogey or worse.
Oh, that's a great approach shot. Gotta like their chances from there. Yep, tracking nicely. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And that will take him to eight under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. The 14th, Rich, I know it's dear to your heart, the par three. You made an ace there in tournament history, won a car. How do you tell the players to play it? Hit a seven iron, uh, a high little draw seven iron, and two hop it right in the hole, Luke. That's what I suggest. That makes it easy. This one might need to get down a little. Pretty good shot there. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. Little birdie looking here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Now four shots up after that hole. The 15th, Rich, uh, a very good par four. Although, if you're Victor Hovland, maybe the fairway's not in your line of sight. It's a great par four, and yet there's some players that have seen it a little bit differently lately. I always saw it as a dog leg from left to right, just avoid that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. And this is an interesting green. It's got a high spot on the left, and it's got a low middle section and a high section on the right-hand side, and you never have a flat putt. It is always breaking one direction or another, and it's either straight uphill or straight downhill. This is the most difficult green on the golf course by a long margin. If you see it differently, you can hit it down the right, down 17 fairway, but I fail to see how that's any kind of advantage. That's some good golf right there. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Go on, get in the hole. And down it goes. And now an impressive nine under par as we head to the stretch. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Our leader is up by four shots now. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Well, that'll play. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead, with Brooke Henderson following in second. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Good looking shot this. An outstanding performer with already five wins under their belt. Oh, what a wonderful play, leading with intent. And here we are with the third shot. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. Setting up this putt 24 feet from the cut. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And that's a long-range bomb. And rest assured, their rival will be looking over their shoulder. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that.
And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. One of the most famous finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich. This 18th at Riviera is a classic. Aim for the palm trees in the distance, which are located just on the left-hand side of the green. A good tee shot there will set up an awesome-looking second. Uh, great shot. Well, this is a little bit of a birdie blitz going on from the player. Can they make another? Yes, the only thing that could ruin it now is a triple bogey. Opting for the five iron. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Ooh. And this putt is for a final score of 60. Well, a spectacular week comes to a close. Congratulations to the Genesis Invitational winner, Riviera, the home of your champion. It was a Hollywood ending for this winner. What a performance all week long. And Rich, I think you mentioned earlier that this player was your favorite. Well picked. Listen, I, it's not a hard pick, is it? This player has consistently been there all season long. There's no reason why not to pick them to win. They just make me look smart. That's about it. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Olvey. We look forward to your company next time.